The pen is mightier on God. Ah, the handwritten note. Some say it's a lost art, but I just think we're lazy. I mean, why write a note when a text message or an email will do, right? I'm not saying that I don't succumb to the ease of sending a text message over a note every now and then or that often, but if you wanna make someone feel good and strengthen that relationship, send a handwritten note. Okay, now that we've cleared the air on that, what type of notes should you be sending? Of course, the basics are all well and good, like happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy holidays, etc. Those notes do add value, but the notes that have the greatest impact are the ones that someone does not expect to receive. For example, thank you, congratulations, thinking of you. If someone does something nice for you, send them a handwritten thank you. That will have a much greater impact than a simple text message or email saying, hey, thanks. Congratulations. You probably see moments every day in your social media feed or hear about them through your daily conversations that deserve some congrats. Perhaps that you heard that your friend's daughter did amazing in her dance recital over the weekend or that your neighbor got a huge promotion at work. It's time to celebrate with a nicely crafted handwritten note. Now, how often do you think about someone and that's where it ends? Why not share that energy? The next time someone comes to your mind and you are genuinely thinking about them with curiosity, write a note and drop it in the mail. Awesome, now we are writing notes. This will increase your interactions with people, deepen relationships, and potentially bring more referrals for your business. Speaking of business, does this mean that we should drop our business card in every note that we write, brand the heck out of the packaging with logos everywhere, or make sure that we constantly remind people that we are never too busy for their referrals? Absolutely not. Let's start with the business card. You get a nice note, you open it up, and out flies a business card. Jane Smith Real Estate. Why is she always constantly reminding me that she's in real estate? This is actually a pretty nice note, but she probably only sent it to me to remind me that she sells houses. The same thing happens when you constantly close with asking for referrals. You just wrote an amazing note with great energy and you killed it with a statement that basically says, I only write you these notes so that you don't forget to send me business. Now about branding. I know a lot of people have business stationery, and as long as it's not too flashy, I'm generally okay with it. Particularly if that note has something to do with business or is related to a professional connection. However, if you're writing a personal note that is genuinely a thank you, congratulations, or thinking of you moment, keep it unbranded and about the person to whom you're sending that note. So there you go, writing notes, not a lost art. Now go impress some people with your penmanship. And if your handwriting sucks, that's okay too. As long as the message comes from here, that's what matters.